Morning everybody, yeah it's Sunday, the day of rest, the 16th of August 2020. Well, I had a surprise yesterday, yes, my friend Joey and his girlfriend Amelia had their one year anniversary, and what did Joey buy her? A lawnmower, and he made her go and cut the grass. That's not how it should be Joey, telling me you're busy when I found out that Amelia was cutting the grass and not you. You should have been the one outside doing the hard work. I don't know. Well, holidays. Are you one of the people that have been affected from quarantine? Hmm. Right, people fleeing France at the last minute, okay, They uh, the Eurotunnel Euro uh, emailed somebody on their phone and turned and said, you're number 2,990 in the queue to get on board the uh, Eurostar. Wow. That's a long, long wait. They had to be back in the UK by 4am. If not, they had to quarantine for 14 days when they come back. Some people can. Some people had to flee their holidays early and get back to make sure they still had a job or their company actually needed needed them because they were struggling themselves with employees. Very, very bad. When will the government ever sort it out? When will it ever stop? It's a bit worrying, isn't it? 29 days short, my holiday. And hopefully, touch wood, I'll touch my head. Hopefully, it will stay. Unlike the beard. It has got to go. It has. I'm just being lazy. I'm trying to, trying to pull one off with Tracy. Uh, I've told her that I've got an infection and that I can't shave at the moment. I've got a rash. I don't think she believes... You don't believe me, do you? No, she doesn't believe me. But hey-ho. Right, she asked me to talk about Pet Ethel. Yeah? He, Pet Ethel is an emu, and he runs loose in fields in Doncaster. When he has enough and wants to go for his jaunt, he just leaves his pen and goes for a walk. Now, people have been worried because he's been very close to walking actually on the motorway. Now, my friend Chris Reardon touched on this subject yesterday. Um, it was quite quite a heartful and funny story to hear. But on the uh, serious side, uh, you don't want a pet emu walking in the middle of the motorway. He could cause a lot of trouble. Right, we were thinking the other day that our Siobhan shouldn't be called Siobhan at all. No. If you had a chance, or you had, a, if you, if your child, right, was named after the place you actually met, what would your child be called? Please comment down below. Ours would be called Mansfields. Mansfields is a fruit packing farm near Canterbury in Kent. That's where me and the missus met many, many, many years ago. Then about celebrating a one-year anniversary, we're coming up to twenty-five. In November so if you had a child and it was named from where you met you know where you and your partner met do let me know it'd be very interesting and it could be quite comical right the EJ yesterday very moving ceremony on BBC one did you see the poor Indian bloke oh my god I thought he was gonna fall over he picked his reef up to lay down. He bent forward and, well, put it this way, even Prince Charles, Charlie boy, thought he was going to fall because he was rushing from his place to go and help him up to help the other bloke who had hold of him. Um, the choir there were absolutely on par. Um, Art Malik. Was it Art Malik? Yeah. Art Malik narrated the story. Absolutely fantastic. What a voice that man's got. Fitting for that tribute. Very fitting. Did you see the red arrows go past? Apparently they went everywhere. I know Chris was going to get some film footage of them. Uh, they left uh, where he is, up north. They went to uh, Scotland, Belfast and somewhere else. Uh, didn't come our way. Didn't see anything. Nothing to see. It's dry, but overcast, as it has been all day. Um, do you like looking at webcams on the internet? 
we look at the uh, what's the boat in Portsmouth? HMS Warrior. Yeah. Uh, when all the naval ships come in to the dockyard, you get to see them in glorious Technicolor. Oh yes, the Queen Elizabeth comes in. You know about it. Me and Tracy have actually seen that. And if you go through this channel and scroll all the way down, you will see the HMS Queen Elizabeth going out when she was doing her sea trials uh, at the beginning of the year. Now, there's Blackpool. They have now got two new webcams at Blackpool. Uh, Peter Haynes has got one at Whitstable at the seafront. What else have we got? We've got Brighton, Brighton uh, Pier, that's on there. Leicester, Dover, you can see, on a good day you can see all the ferries coming in the Dover port and the castle. Uh, so have you got anything nice? Do let me know. Well, we're going out Wednesday. We're going to see the mother-in-law, Mrs Tracy's mum. She's going to be 80 years young on Wednesday. So we're travelling to Kent. So what would you buy an 80-year-old lady as a present? That's the question. But you've got to be pretty quick. We need to know by Tuesday so we can buy it. So that's what would you buy an 80-year-old lady for her birthday? Please help. We are struggling to find what we need. We've got plenty of cards and obviously we'll be, bring her some flowers, but... We need to find a nice gift for her. Right. Oh, that's what I was going to say. The raspberry soda. <gasps> yum, yum. One pound a bottle, made by bars, in the local Nisha shop. If you like raspberries, you'll like that drink. That's what I was going to tell you. See? Memory like a sieved. Well, the beard is definitely coming off today, and the hair's being cut. Okay, so when you see me tomorrow, you'll say, who's that new bloke on Gary's daily blog? It'll be me. Oh, what you look like. Anyway, have a nice day. Have a great Sunday dinner. We've got, what we got? Chicken. Oh, we've got chicken thighs, roast potatoes, broccoli, carrots, peas, bit of stuffing, and then we have got an apple crumble. Aunt Bessie's. Apple crumble with a bit of custard. I'm looking forward to that immensely. Right, whatever you're doing today, have a great one, and I'll see you in the morning.